Hello, it's Keith for KMH Corner. I am back for another exciting week of Minecraft on Cot Hot Tot Cot. Oh, I got flamey there. Can I do it? Ah, flames. Okay, enough of the playing. Um, last week we kind of worked on this area. We made a whole bunch of blocks. Um, we decided that this, I screwed up. This has got to go back, back one more block, so I'll do that another time. The ceiling has to go higher, and I'm gonna go out another eight on each side. From there, we don't know. And of course, I gotta put down the floor. No biggie, um, this is the king's mine. Um, still don't really know what I'm gonna call it. Murderous mountains or something stupid or something like that. Um, but we are not going to work in here. Put my helmet back on. We are going to go and do some work back at home base. We got some massive amounts of um, stuff to cut out. I just want to bring some diamonds with me because I want to make a diamond axe. So... You're going to come down here to where my first death was. Oh! And we are going to get some diamonds. Let's bring three. I, I do think I have diamonds back where I'm heading, but I don't want to walk or boat ride all the way over there just to find out there's no diamonds and I have to come back here. That would be a big waste of time so instead waste about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure I've got the stuff. I'm gonna get this off my hotbar. Those things are few and far between. I haven't been spending my um, nights awake to be able to kill a lot of endermen but maybe I will in the future. In the future. So my plan is, there's going to be a path coming out of here. And I don't know whether or not I want to go straight here. Towards this bay of awesomeness. Um, but it's kind of strange having the edge of the mountain here. So I was thinking of maybe... What's this? Okay. I was thinking of maybe um, making a stair. I've already gone to, down too far. The staircase from down here up through there through the uh, side of the mountain but I'm not too sure but I have come up with designs for the boat docks so I don't have to be um, so it makes things a little easier to get back and forth and that is what I'm gonna do today I don't know how much of it I'm gonna actually get done sorry mr. Squidward but we're going to start working on it so we can make our, there it is, our journeys back and forth a little bit easier. So I had mentioned I was going to cut out some trees and make the boat dock area. And that is where I am going now. So I got to figure out exactly where I want it to be done. And um, get it done. That's kind of weird to rain down. The it seems like every time I hit that one area, it slows down like that. This looks really cool from the overhead. There's like a, a bowl here. I don't know how deep it goes in the center. But it's kind of cool, and I kind of want my bay to be based around here. Um... There I go again with the spike. Let me see. Oh, horrible frames. Maybe I should put Optifine back on, but I don't know. I'm, I like Optifine, but I only want to use it if really necessary. So all these trees are going to go. Hi, bunny. And that is our project. That is what we're going to do right now. I wish I had a big stack of tree TNT. Enderman. 
Meow. Do I have diamonds here? I do. Three. One, two, three. Oh. The noise. I am not fans of the cow noise. What were we making an axe? I'm gonna have to do something. Uh, somebody suggested I make a bigger area for them to roam and stuff. So maybe, just maybe, um, when Efficiency 3, Efficiency 2. We want Efficiency 3. <clears throat> so, <laughs> that noise goes away so quickly. Where did my sounds? Let me bring it down a little bit. <laughs> I'll bring my weather up a little bit. I've been doing some creative world stuff, and the weather's been kind of annoying. Oh, I gotta fix that still. I got so much stuff I gotta do. How did I end up with that? So I'm gonna sit down here and kinda tell you what's going on while I get these four levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me come over here. Do I have a bucket of lava? No, I don't. Hmm. I was thinking of, uh, that's not where it is it? Yeah. I was thinking of just cutting that out. Let me put a thing in there. Put in a bucket of lava there so the babies just fall into the lava. But I don't know if there's any lava close by. I, mean, I can't really think of it right now. But I just want these things to start spawning. I need a whole bunch. There's the baby. Oh. See the baby's joinking it up. One of the uh, mobs, you know how that guy just went right up, but with the baby there, it slowed him down. So I'm just gonna sit here and look at the babies until I get, I don't know, a whole bunch of things over there. Yeah, things, whatever these things are. Thank you. Every little bit helps. <clears throat> so, um, I did design what I think the, um, the boat dock areas should look like and of course everything that I've done I mean it's not super huge but it's a lot bigger than I wanted it to be I just kind of was looking for a dock and something to park a boat <laughs> but instead I ended up with uh, a building a place to sleep and a chest so I just got to recreate it here and the design that I'm building over here is going to be mirrored by the design over by at King's Mine. That's what I'm going to call it, King's Mine. And, um, hey, little guy. Come here, little guy. There you are. Thank you. And, um, I'm going to mirror it over on the other side uh, with the thoughts that the people who made the mines are descendants of the people who have the farms over here so the architecture is going to be similar but just a tad different of course it will be based on wood over here but based on stone on the other side i'm going to kill some of these because really too much noise So I kind of want the architecture in this world to kind of mimic each other and um, seem like it comes from, you know, different types of cultures, but 
all interrelated because they're all within, you know, close distance of each other. God, that's really loud. I'm going to go over here for a couple minutes. You mean I still haven't lit up cave over here? Really? And I got gold? Oh, wow. I didn't realize I had all this over there. You guys are all probably going, yeah, don't you remember when you came over here and you didn't want to scoop it all up because you were running out of time or something? It sounds like something I would do. Getting some XP with a coal because I'm really just looking for XP right now. Hey, bat. See if... Oh, I'll get XP from you. Oh, look at that. Hi, Iron Man. Oh. What was that? Oh, there's lava above me. Hmm. Nah. I don't want to play with the lava. I mean, I do want to get a bucket of lava, but I don't want to play with it. And... Oh, more coal. Oh, I keep forgetting I have a flame bowl. Flame bowl. I think he's dead. <clears throat> Come on, XP. I just need two more levels. Then we can get to work. <laughs> That guy knew I was coming after him. Oh, and it goes down. Dang it. I really gotta explore that area. It's kind of sad that I'm hitting coal for XP right now. So I wanted to kind of give you like a, a story. It's not really a story. It's more of a background. My background. Of course. Because who other's background do I really know better than mine? Nobody's. Hope these didn't despawn. And yeah, it wasn't working the whole time I was gone. That suck. Um, so my, mat, my dad and mom, them, they met each other. And... I just want to make sure I'm close enough to these things. They met each other in high school. Um, they were both in the band for the high school back in the 50s, 1950s, that is. And um, my dad played the clarinet and my mom played the flute. I guess my dad wanted to be Benny Goodman, basically. I don't know who my mom wanted to be. <laughs> but, um, they met and fell in love at the school. And they wanted to get married. And, you know, at that time, well, maybe not so much, um, you know, the 50 Stepford Wives, uh, everybody. The goal was to get married and have kids and a family immediately. Nowadays, it's more like wait around until you're 30 before you do that. But back when my um, parents were young, people got married much younger. But even back in that time, the um, so if I oh, let me stop jumping. Hey, buddy, I hear you. Come here. Thank you. Who do I hear? Okay. But at the time, um, they were even too young to get married. But um, that was their goal. See, I think if I had a bucket of lava down there, this guy would be dying right now and I wouldn't have to worry about this. I mean, I wouldn't be getting the XP, but that's beside the point. So, keep interrupting my story with stupid Minecraft facts. 
That's you kind of, I don't know. It's kind of weird that I'm telling stories and playing Minecraft. Um, I should really be talking about the game. So I'm a little, I shouldn't say confused, but a little strange and what exactly I should technically be talking about. But I'll stop overanalyzing. They wanted to get married. They were too young to get married. And so they were going to, they lived, they grew up in a town called Saugus, Massachusetts. And uh, they decided that they were going to go to New, Ham New Hampshire, where the age to get married was a little bit younger. Um, I guess, you know, back in them, those days, you know, you married as a virgin, but I doubt my parents did. <laughs> Too much information already, Jesus. I didn't, can't believe I just went there. One more should do it. Oh, I'm a half of thingy light. One more, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> Oops. I'll get you just for good measure, okay. You can live, or actually, uh, I'll give you guys worth so you can despawn. Nobody cares about you, so you just die of loneliness. And of course, every time I come out of this hole, it is nighttime. Sons of bitches. So, um, they were going to go to New Hampshire to get married. But somehow, they ended up not having to do that. Somehow, I think maybe with parent notes or something, they they were able to um, do that. Oh, don't hit me. Okay. Hey, you're all grown up now. That's what happens when you... Escape from the pen. You remember that, guys. Any of you escape, I am going to kill you. Okay. Creepers. One more. You better die too, because I'm going to be clearing you out, man. Maybe I can start a fire. I don't want to waste all my arrows. I only got 18. Eeks. I got to find a skelly spawner. Actually, I should probably make the chicken grinder and fix all that. So one, two, three. Efficiency three and what? Efficiency three and efficiency three. Lovely. But, I'll take the efficiency three. Hmm. So basically what I'm getting at is my parents married at a young age and my mom ended up having two kids before she turned 18 years old. But under marriage, so it was okay. Okay, we're going to start cutting some trees out. <clears throat> and my dad's... My grandmother, so my dad's mom, was always bickering to my dad's grandfather. My, I mean, my grandfather, my dad's dad, that he wasn't making enough money, that he needed to do more work, that... Um, why don't you make more money for the family and stuff? So my dad grew up with this weird, gotta make money ASAP as much as possible, which is fine, but at the expense of maybe happiness for himself because he didn't want my mom to treat him like my grandmother treated um, her husband. 
So my, my dad got a weird concept of money. So in the beginning, um, he did some weird things to get money. Um, I mean, obviously he had the real job, but he was, there was a lot of stress around money. So he, being a teenager out of high school, married, and having two kids, um, you know, all before he was like 19, 20 years old, uh, can stress somebody out and you want to do the best that you can. So you do kind of shifty things for money sometimes. And I don't suggest that, but I've done shifty things for money before too. Um, so everybody's kind of capable of it. And uh, some of the things he did were illegal. And some of those things involved uh, family quote unquote interests. Um, we have very distant mafioso type relatives and he was a strong man. He kind of scared people for them, if you know what I mean. Um, but nothing, you know, you would even mention in a movie like Goodfellas. I mean, nothing severe like that, but, um, you know, he had a gang that would terrorize the place, you know, do their hot rods and scare the hell out of people, um, steal money from people, beat people up for, uh, the family and interesting way of making money. So my dad had a, uh, pretty heavy temper because no, I'm not going to say because, but one of the reasons is um, we're all Irish. <laughs> Irish descendants. So I should have taken a look at the map before I started doing this to find out exactly how many trees I'm going to be cutting down. Whoa, why are you doing that? So wait a second, let me just see what's popping up at me. Nothing. Okay, maybe I did it myself. Uh, AVG being a pain in the ass and it, you know, telling me, interrupting my playing to tell me I get an update. And it's like, come on, AVG, really? Take over my computer just so I can pay you money to give me viruses and pretend you're cleaning your viruses for me? Thanks. Um, but obviously I like it enough to use it, so. Um, So he had a temper. Um, he was also very addicting uh, personalities. I have it also. So anything that is good, we get addicted to. And um, that's how he got by. He, he ended up going to college and stuff and getting a good degree so he can do things legitimately and correct. But at first it wasn't so. And, um, let's see, obviously I'm going to cut you down. So having a uh, quick temper and growing up with that kind of, um, I don't know, kept me on my toes when I was a kid. And over the times I realized that he was an alcoholic, drinking and you know, not taking responsibility for his actions and stuff. And if he had a bad day at work, we would just hide in the room, stay away from my dad. Because we would eventually get the sidearm of that. And seeing the drinking and seeing all the bad things that his behavior has caused throughout my life. Um, it's kind of made me make sure I don't turn into him. So yeah, I'm not perfect by any means. Gonna cut you down. This is gonna be my line, the edge of this pen. So that's close enough. Well, actually I can keep you there. I'm just gonna go along this. So a lot of what I do, a lot of the self introspective things I've learned to do in my life uh, is to make sure I don't turn into my dad. Now, as a matter of fact, even though my parents are in their 70s right now, 
my mom just went to Minnesota and stated to a few people that as soon as she comes back, she's leaving him because she can't live with him anymore. But we will see. My, my mom's kind of a wreck also. Let's see. Where, how far does this go? I need like a vantage point to see what the F I'm going to do. And what better vantage point than on top of a roof forest? Okay, that's a lot of trees. Hmm. I'm going to cut all this out. <laughs> well, i got to find out exactly where I want to build my thing. Maybe I'll just make a path. Well, there's going to be some birch, so let's... Uh-oh. Let's get rid of this, this birch. I think this would be a good place for... The boat dock. Maybe I won't clean them out all the trees because that seemed like it's going to take forever. But this is kind of where I want the dock to be, kind of like right out here, obviously. Yes.